Hi there, welcome to Natalie Friedman's YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you're here. We're gonna get down on our mat, we're gonna get to flowing, and this flow will be based around change. We're moving into a new season coming up, and we have a harvest full moon on September 29th. I invite you to set intentions, to really be intentional. Pay attention to the season that you are moving into, that you might be exiting right now. Uh, change is something that I love the idea of, and yet when it arrives, um, I tend to panic. So how do we sit with that? How do we feel all the feels? How do we stay aware? As I said before, stay intentional with who we are, where we're going, and being kind to ourselves. So, with that, let's get to flowing. We're gonna start in child's pose on the mat. Knees wide, forehead heavy. And just take a moment to feel the breath. Feel where you are. Where are you with change? Where are you in the season of your becoming? How do we write our story onto our mat and live authentically? Inhale, fingertips walk to the right side of the mat, left hand on top of the right, turning the left armpit down towards the earth, inching the fingertips a little closer to the top right hand corner of the mat. Breathing into the left side body. Inhale, fingertips come to the top of the mat. Tent up onto the fingertips, forearms lift off the mat, forehead off the mat, slightly tucking the chin to feel the length in the back of the neck engaging the shoulder blades to track down the spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, move to the left side of the mat, right hand on top of left. Turning the right armpit down, inching the fingertips a little closer to the top left hand corner. Breathing into the right side body. Inhale, fingertips come to the center. Moving into puppy pose, bringing knees hip width distance. Chin can meet the earth or the forehead. Yogi's choice. Starting to create your ujjayi breath. How do you move through change? How do you move into the season in which you're supposed to be? Slowly coming up onto the hands, moving into your tabletop position, moving through cat cow. taking any sort of organic movement that feels good in the body, curling the spine, it feels like a beautiful fall morning here in Charlotte. I hope that you are experiencing the same type of weather wherever you might be. Staying connected to breath. Staying connected to what's surfacing, what's coming up for you. When you're ready, coming back into your tabletop position, right leg goes long behind you, tracking right hip down towards the earth. Press into the hands, feel the shoulder blades pull apart on the back. We pulse the leg. Five. Four, three, two, one, spinal balance, 
left arm lifts, feeling the length in the left fingertips, lengthening through the right toes, lifting the right heel just a little bit more. We're gonna pulse the arm and the leg up. Five, four, three, three, two, one. Left hand comes down, right knee comes down. This time, lengthen back through because I forgot to do something. Take a bend in the right knee. Come down onto the left forearm. We poke it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Touch the toes to the right side of the mat. Lift the leg high. Five. Four, three, two, one. Coming up onto the left forearm and, or hand, and now we tuck the knee, taking any sort of organic movement that feels good in the body. And when you're ready, we find stillness. Left leg goes long behind you. Left hip facing down. Press into the hands, you're out of the shoulders. We pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Holding here, spinal balance. Feel the length in the right fingers. Lifting the left heel just a little bit more. Pulse it up. Five, four, three, two, one, right hand comes down, moving down onto the right forearm. Take a bend in the left knee, poke it up. Five, four, three, two, one, toes move to the left, send the leg high. Five, four, three, two, one, coming up onto the right hand, left knee comes down, take any sort of organic movement that feels good in the body. When you're ready, tucking toes, hovering tabletop, both knees lift off the earth. Plugging the navel to the spine, connecting to your breath. How are you showing up? Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step it back, high plank. Low plank, hold at the bottom. Five, four, three, two, one. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Ha. Inhale, high on the toes. Baby step to the top of the mat. Forward fold when you arrive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, drop it low. Inhale, look up, gaze up. Exhale, push the energy down, palms face down. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, push the energy down. Arms lift. Push the energy down. Arms lift. Hands touch, they move to heart center. Close the eyes. Rocking the weight to the toes, to the heels and then you find center right in the middle of the foot. Connecting to your space, clear, steady, and grounded. How do we move through change? How do we move into a space and still be us? Inhale, fingertips lift to the sky, Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Let's step it back, high plank, low plank. Five, four, three, two, 
four, three, two, one. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> Ripple forward, high plank. Right leg lifts, take a bend in the right knee, poke it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Knee to nose. Gently step it through, low lunge. On the inhale, arms are lifting. Cactus the arms. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, lizard pose. Coming to the inside of the right leg. You can come down onto the forearms. You can take the right hand to the inside of the right knee and gently peel it open. The right sole of the foot will come off of the earth. Logging shoulders down away from the ear. Slowly coming back into your runner's lunge. Tuck back toes, step it back, high plank. Low plank, five, four, three, two, one. Up dog, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> Ripple forward, high plank. Left leg lifts, take a bend in the left knee, we poke it up. Five, four, three, two, one, knee to nose. Gently step it through, back knee drops. On the inhale, arms are lifting. Cactus. Arms lift. On the exhale, hands surrender down, lizard pose taking what you need just as you did on the right side. You can peel the left sole of the foot off of the mat. When you're ready, slowly coming up, runner's lunge. Step it back, high plank, low plank. Five, four, three, two, one, up dog, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> Ripple forward, high plank, right leg lifts, bend in the knee, push it up. Five, four, three, two, one, knee to nose. Gently step it through, left foot meets right, chair pose at the top of the mat. Set it low, shoulders are back. Lifting through the right heel, stork pose. We send it back, high crescent lunge, arms lift. Now take a look at the left toes. We're gonna point the left toes to the top corner of the left the left top corner of the mat. Take a bend in the back knee, cactus through the arms, feel the shoulder blades pull together. Pulse, five, four, you've got this. Three, two, one, arms lift, sweep it forward, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, Right foot meets left, chair pose. Right heel lifts off the mat, send it back, grounded warrior three. Positioning right hip down, fingertips land on a block or the mat, and connect to your space. Remembering we're understanding change. How do we move through it? Gently step it back. Warrior one, arms lift. Now pay attention to the hips. You're gonna plug left hip back so the hips are pointing to the front. Arms run high. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands surrender down to the mat. We step it back, high plank. 
low plank. Five, four, three, two, one, up dog, down dog. Take a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> Ripple forward, high plank. Left leg lifts, take a bend in the knee, push it up. Five, four, three, two, one, knee to nose. Step it through, you're in a runner's lunge. Right foot meets left, chair pose at the top of the mat. Shoulders back, arms are long. Lifting through the left heel. Stork pose. We send it back. High crescent lunge. Now take a look at the right toes. They're going to point to the top right corner of the mat. Take a bend in the back knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Arms move forward, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Left foot meets right, top of the mat. Lifting through left heel again. Send it back, grounded warrior three. Tracking left hip down, hugging navel to spine. On the exhale, gently step it back, warrior one. Now pay attention to this right hip, plug it back. Hips are pointing to the front of the mat. Arms run high. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands surrender down to the mat. Step it back, high plank. Low plank, five, four, three, two, one, up dog. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> Ripple forward, high plank, you've got this. Right leg lifts, bend in the knee, push it up. Five, four, three, Two, one, knee to nose. Step it through, runner's lunge. Top of the mat, chair pose. Right leg lifts, stork. Send it back, high crescent lunge. Left toes point to the top left corner of the mat. Bend, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one, arm sweep forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it back, chair. We lift through the right heel again. Send it back, grounded warrior three. Feel the connection. How do we do hard things in life? How do we show up on our mat? Step it back, warrior one. Arms run high. Exhale, hand surrender. Step it back, low plank. Five, four, three, two, one, up dog, down dog. Take a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> Ripple forward, high plank. Left leg lifts, bend in the knee, push it up. Five, four, Three, two, one, knee to nose. Gently step it through, top of the mat, chair. Left leg lifts, stork. Send it back, high crescent lunge. Woo. Take the toes to the top corner, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one, sweep it, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, step it, chair. Left heel lift, stork, send it back, grounded warrior three. Now pay attention to the breath. Is it choppy? Are you holding it? 
we keep it smooth. This is how we practice life. When things feel hard, come back to breath. Step it back. Warrior one, arms lift. Exhale, hands surrender. Step it back, low plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Up dog, down dog. Woo, take a deep breath in and let it go. Ha. Walking the hands back to meet the feet. Forward fold. Inhale. Chair. Lift it up. Take a look at the toes. They're poking out from the knees. Shoulders are away from the ears and we're active in the fingers. They're not loose. They're not dangling. They're active and they're sending energy in a direction. Where are you with change? How does it land? How does it move through the body? Smooth the breath out, let go with a jaw, sit it a little lower, you got this. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, dive it deep, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Let's walk it out, high plank. Right leg lifts, bend in the knee. Push it up, five, four, three, two, one, knee to nose. Step it through, chair at the top of the mat. Right heel lifts, stand it up, stork. Send it back, high crescent, arms run high. Point the left toes to the top left corner, bend in the knee, five. Four, three, two, one, sweep it. Five, four, three, two, one, we step it. Chair, right heel lift, stork this time. Warrior three, floating hands to heart center. Pulling the shoulders back, tracking right hip down. Now see if you can up dog through the chest, taking the gaze to the front. Now when you're ready, gently bend in the left knee, step it back, warrior one, nice work. Warrior two, we're adding on. Shoulders back, arms are lifted, sink it in. When we pause, this is where you're resetting breath. Feel the length, feel your energy. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, spiral through, kundalini with the twist, tucking right knee behind left, left arm to the sky. Floating hands to heart center. Lift through the upper body, gaze is down. Lengthen through the left leg. Feel the length in the right leg. We're back to warrior three. Gently step back, runner's lunge. High plank, low plank, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and let it go <sighs> one more time take a deep breath in and let it go <sighs> ripple forward high plank left leg lifts take a bend in the knee push it up five four three two one knee to nose Step it through, top of mat, chair pose. Left heel lifts, stork. Send it back, high crescent lunge. Toes point to the top right corner, pulse. Five, four, three, 
two, one, sweep it. Five, four, three, two, one, chair, top of the mat. Left heel lifts, send it up, send it back. Warrior three, floating hands to heart center. Lifting through the chest, up dog, send that gaze to the front. Still tracking left hip down. Now slowly start to bend in the right knee. Warrior one, arms lift. Warrior two, open it out. Shoulders back, arms are lifted. Reset the energy. Close the eyes, smooth the breath. How do you do hard things? On the exhale, spiral down. Kundalini with the twist, tucking left knee behind right, gazing up at the right fingertips. Now nice and slow, float hands to heart center. Start lengthening through the right leg. As you start to lengthen, the left leg goes long. Warrior three, hands move down, runner's lunge. Step it back, high plank, low plank. Five, four, three, two, one, up dog. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Ha. One more time, take a deep breath in and let it go. Ha. Ripple forward, hold. Feel the strength in the shoulders. Feel the hands gripping the earth. Let go of the jaw. Hug the navel in. Inner and outer thighs are still engaged. Toes are rooted. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, your flow. Take it or leave it. Down dog when you're ready. And when you're ready, child's pose. Forehead heavy on the mat. Breath is long, full, and deep. How are you arriving in this moment? As we flowed and we're speaking of change, how does that move through you? Where are you with it? What is changing around you? Can you name it? Or is it a feeling? Take a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> One more time, take a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> We're gonna move through four rocking child poses. On the inhale, rocking forward, bringing the heels to the rear, pushing it right back, child's pose. Flowing here three more times with your breath. And when you feel complete, meeting me in a downward facing dog. We're gonna take our flow one more time. Pay attention to what the body does. Pay attention to the breath, keep it smooth. If you feel like flowing ahead of me, taking it a beat faster, by all means, it's your practice. If you feel like slowing it down extra slow, do what feels right. Pay attention. Pay attention to what you need. Ripple forward, high plank. Right leg lifts, bend, push up. Five, four, three, two, one. Knee to nose. 
step it through chair, top of mat. Right heel lifts, stork, send it back, high crescent. Toes point to the top left, pulse, five, four, three, two, one, sweep it, five, four, three, two, one, step, top of mat, chair, right heel lifts, stand it up, send it back, warrior three, gently step back, warrior one, Hand, open out, warrior two, shoulders back, arms are lifted, take a deep breath in, Exhale, spiral through, kundalini with a twist. Hands move to heart center. You're slowly moving through warrior three. Lengthen through the legs, feel the energy. Step it back, high plank, low plank. Five, four, three, two, one, up dog, down dog. Take a deep breath in, let it go, <sighs> ripple forward, left leg lifts, bend, send it up, five, four, three, two, one, knee to nose, step it through, chair at the top of the mat, left heel lifts, stork, send it back, high crescent, Toes point to the top right, bend a knee. Five, four, three, two, one, sweep it. Five, four, three, two, one, top of mat, chair, lift through left heel, stork, send it back. Warrior three, float hands to heart center. Warrior one. Warrior two, take a deep breath in, exhale, spiral through, kundalini with a twist, floating hands to heart center, lengthening back to warrior three, runner's lunge, high plank, low plank, five, four, three, two, one, up dog down dog. Nice work. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. <sighs> Three point right side. Bend and stack. Feel the space in the hip. Rotate the ankle. When you're ready, pigeon pose. Feeling the length in the chest. And then we dive it deep melting the upper body to the earth. Coming back to your story, coming back to your change. What are the feelings that come up? Inhale, lifting up. Rolling on to the right hip, swinging the left leg around, right arm lifts, we find our twist. Sending the gaze to the back, shoulders are away from the ears. Taking the hands to the right side and just take a little dip. We'll feel this in the lower back. Lifting up, swinging left leg back around, high plank, down dog. Left leg lifts, three point, bend and stack. Feel the space, rotate the ankle. When you're ready, set up pigeon. And melt. Mm. 
noticing how good it feels to just come down. We worked hard. We worked through feelings. We worked through breath. We're all connected. Slowly coming up, bringing the right leg around. Left arm lifts, we find our twist. Taking the gaze to the back, pay attention to the shoulders. They're not up, they're down. Still active in my fingers. Bringing the hands to the left and just taking that dip. Swinging right leg around, high plank, down dog. Inhale, high on the toes, bend in the knees, step it through, lay it down. Hug the knees into the chest. Make big circles on the ceiling with your knees. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of, the seat, soles of the feet touch, hands in a meaningful position. And just breathe. Knees hug into the chest, wrapping the arms around the shins, lifting the forehead to the knees. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it all go. Take up space. Savasana. You can stay in Savasana for as long as you can. Resting creates healing. Remember that. It's so important to find that last pose. Deep rest. It gets us centered. It gets us grounded. It keeps us honest. If you would like to finish class with me right now, coming up to a seated position at the top of the mat, palms face up on the knees, shoulders back and connect to the center of the palm. Feeling your energy, feeling your connection to the earth. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Ah. Floating the hands to heart center to seal your practice. Thumbs float to the third eye center. I honor and see the light in each of you. May you embrace your change. Stay honest. Stay clear. Stay steady. Namaste. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. I will be sure to continue to post. Please like and subscribe, pass to friends and family, and I am so grateful to be with you on your mat all the time. Namaste.